We got the GPS antenna cover from American Muscle. Comes in this, this little box comes in this big box. And open it up. Do not open with sharp objects. Oh, that's what I love from American Muscle. The simplest installations come with the best instructions. Colored three-step instructions for comes with one alcohol prep pad, which is good. They they, they do uh, package their stuff very nicely. So it actually comes wraps very nicely in this. Here it is. Looks nice, nicely painted. Clean area fluid and supply of the Remove 3M tape. Be sure to center the cover over the factory and place it on the deck lid once the cover is properly down to full seam. All right. The culprit. You got the beautiful lines. Except for that little, that little thing. Beautiful lines all around. And then all of a sudden, you come to that little matte spot. Look at how it just, oh, what is that doing there? It doesn't belong. What is that? What is that? Can't have that now. So, what we're gonna do is put this bad boy on there. Oh boy, now you have to pick which side. This way, right? Oh my goodness. Now I gotta think of which way I wanna put this. Oh, the troubles. Funny, because I was gonna install it like this originally. When I look at it from the side, it actually gives the appearance that this is sloped and then it's just immediately cut off in the back. So it would resemble this way. Oh. See now, this is where my OCD kicks in. Slope, slope, and then trail off. And it is actually quite larger. Oh, decisions. And also, this is for an 09. You got the flat piece here, and this is more flat and then round. So on this bad boy, it should go like this. So I'm going to spend the next three hours seeing which the one looks better. After some deliberation, careful deliberation, and some input from my mammy, decided to go with it this way, at least for the uh, earlier S197, so 5 to 09, because if you actually look, well, first off, if the GPS uh, on the bottom the real GPS actually slopes actually just like this and um, oh, I already told you all that and the biggest factor is it actually looks nicer on the hood it follows the S197's line slopey front long front and then trails off the back abruptly so I think that it matches the rear of the car a lot better because if you have it turned the other way kind of just pops out a little more and it's kind of like a sore thumbish and this way it kind of blends into the back and follows the lines of the back of the Mustang a little better and definitely uh, makes this this thing a little classier because um, it's got that nice painted shiny finish it's not just like all of a sudden there oh let's just plop a little uh, GPS there so Definitely adds a little bit of class to the Mustang. Yeah, definitely nicer. Then it's definitely one of those after mods. Um, I mean, 70 bucks. So if you were planning on saying, oh, let me get an external mod or exterior mod 
I don't have a lot of money, let me just throw it down on there instead of like a rear uh, window louver or some mirrors, I would definitely say save that, save the money, put it towards this as soon as you can, or the mirrors, or a different kind of mirrors, or, you know, whatever. Get this as an after effect. At least that's what I did. And uh, just because the w rear window louvers pop out more, people are going to notice those, and definitely the mirrors. And the more I look at the mirrors, I love the mirrors. So, definitely one of those mods where you're starting to run out of things to do. And it definitely just cleans that back end up very nicely. So I'm happy with it. Hopefully uh, this helps you guys uh, decide to, if $60 is enough for that. And uh, I just don't want to think about that anymore. Just be happy with it.